it is getting dangerously close to day 10. That night, there will be a blood moon, the sky will turn red, new monsters will spawn, existing monsters will start mutating. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, and I can't sleep through it either. But currently, I am going insane. The bar at the top left insane, not really like real life. And I want the Insomniac to spawn, which is a traitor that only spawns when you're going insane. So I need to do that first, and then I need to sleep so the manic monsters don't spawn during the blood moon. This is, this is a scary one. I also want zombie flesh and bones, so it's probably pretty good to be outside at night for this, just to farm up some resources. That way, when the Insomniac does come, we can trade because they trade uh, bones and rotten flesh and stuff for Moonstone. And then we can buy other things using Moonstone. Oh, oh. It's dark in here. Okay. That's a new advancement. Oh, I'm going to die, though. Let's get out of here. Oh, the chicken, no. <laughs> What was that? Okay, well... Yes, that's him. That's him. Hello. Oh, you look so good. Okay, the sheep's coming to investigate too. Big drip leaf. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, blight mold. Uh, corpse flute. A cult explorer map. All of these sound really good. Uh, you stay right there. I'll be I'll be right back. Uh, I guess we don't have enough moonstone or any of this to to get the blight mold, which I think is our next step. So I could get the explorer map. There we go. Okay. So we've got the explorer map, which if we right click, we can uh. It writes a map and it'll show us a, a place to go and explore. That's okay. That's really cool. I struggled with a lot of that mob fighting throughout the night. And I know that the blood moon is going to be much worse than a bunch of skeletons. So I'm currently getting a small area set up so I can get livestock going with pigs and sheep and cows and, and all that stuff. That way I have a better source of food and therefore a better way to regenerate health than the melons I took from the forest. Oh! Oh, my screen went back to normal. Oh, all right. We're the, the goal for for making the sanity go back down was uh, is successful. We did it before day 10, which means we won't have to fight any of the phantoms or or other creatures from going insane. Uh, we won't have to fight them during the blood moon, which is very nice. So this will be sheep and or this will be pigs and cows and stuff. Just for the moment, I want to keep the aesthetic with the cobblestone and the mossy cobblestone and start working in some deep slate into our our area here as well because we're going to keep up this dark magic and whatnot. I feel like the ruined aesthetic and then like starting to make it go darker is the best way to go about that. Oh, really? You don't say. Um, I, I believe that was the game telling me that, uh, the Blood Moon is going to be tonight. <laughs> okay, well, I think this is the perfect time to get away from, from our manic stuff. Or at least get away from our home, because I do know some of the creatures on Blood Moons can destroy blocks. So I don't want them to destroy this area. So let's head to this new structure we found, and we can spend the night over there and fight everybody off. Ooh, our first adventure in this world. This is going to be fun.
Oh no. Oh no. We didn't make it. <gasps> We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it just in time. Go, 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 go. Straight ahead. Oh, I don't... Oh gosh. There's one of those monsters. Okay, there's a, oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, there's a structure. I don't know why I think I'm gonna be safe over here, but at least it's a place that's got some semblance of safety. Maybe? Oh no, it's just another one of these camps. Oh, but they've got different stuff. I hear noises I don't like. What is that thing? <gasps> I don't know what that potion effect is. I don't like that guy. Oh, oh, not good. Not good. I'm good. I, I know how to play. I know how to play the game. That's a creeper. That's... Is that a creeper? What? His head like twisted around. Oh! Spawn point set. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. What was that? One quick side note here, the reason these monsters were kind of disappearing and reappearing and, and all that is because I had sodium installed during the time of this recording. It's later been fixed, but if you want any other performance mods and you want to play this, try Modern Fix or something like that because sodium and Optifine just mess up all the shader stuff that goes on with this pack. All right, let's get back to the Blood Moon. <gasps> it, it's like... Oh, it disappeared for a second. That's the guy. Poor flesh. What's that doing? Okay, got it again. Oh, don't blow. Don't explode. Thank you. I got it. Ooh. I think the creeper gave me ah more flesh. Okay. What? Oh, that's what's spawning those things. Okay. Oh my gosh. Check behind. And you. No more spawning the slimes. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's deal with the guy who's spawning all of these first. No, we got a we got a poison guy first. Poison guy is absolute priority because he's going to do that. Yep. Out of here. Come on. Got him. Oh, what did he drop? Bloody fragment. Oh, that's another one. Okay, so there's multiple types of drops. I need to... Oh, we did it. We did it. Survived the first blood moon. It was scary. It was it was very scary. Not too bad, though. OK, well, with the blood moon out of the way, I'm going to loot this place, do a little bit more exploring and head back home and we can see what we got from this. So after all of that exploring, these are all of the items that we got. Now, unfortunately, we are still duck behind this blight mold stuff here. We need this in order to pretty much progress 
through anything else and we don't have enough resources to do any anything else besides that and we actually have to go to the nether to get through sanguine if we look here there's advancements and the the credence or whatever this is this is what's blocking us and we have to go to the nether for that so that'll be that'll that'll be what we do next time and i think since we're gated behind uh, the nether and whatnot this is where i'll end it for today this has been so much fun to go through and explore and I, I can't believe i found all the structures i did i got super lucky i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode